Your Google Cloud network can stretch from Tokyo to New York without breaking a sweat. That's global scale. And in this video, we're going to explain how to harness this superpower to build truly resilient and scalable applications. If you're new to Google Cloud, virtual private clouds are a great starting point. But what even is a virtual private cloud? A virtual private cloud, or VPC, is essentially your very own private cloud computing model, and it's hosted within a public cloud, like Google Cloud. If you want to run code, or store data, or host websites, you can do that on a virtual private cloud. Really, you're getting the best out of two worlds, the scalability and convenience of public clouds, and the separation and privacy of private clouds. Okay, so that's the virtual part of virtual private clouds, but what do they have to do with networks? Well, VPC networks connect Google Cloud resources to each other and to the internet. And this is pretty important. It's a secure way to let your applications interact with one another and for your users to interact with your application through the internet. Segmenting networks, restricting access with firewalls, forwarding traffic to specific destinations, these are all things that can be accomplished with VPC networks. And here's something really cool. Google VPC networks are global. They can have subnets, which are basically little pieces of the larger network in any Google Cloud region worldwide. And your resources can be in different zones on the same subnet. The size of a subnet itself can be increased by expanding the range of IP addresses allocated to it, and doing so won't affect virtual machines that are already configured. For example, let's say you have a VPC network with two subnets in two different regions. If the VPC has three Compute Engine VMs attached to it, it means that those VMs are neighbors on the same subnet, even though they're in different zones. This is a relatively simple network layout, but it allows you to build solutions that are scaled and disruption-free. Now that you have a basic understanding of VPCs, let's check out VPC compatibility in the next video in this course.